Hi everyone, it's OG and Tipsy Eye here. How are you doing? Welcome you back to my let's play of Dragon Quest Journey of the Cursed King. Last time around, we explored the ruined abbey and found that the Maele abbey is on fire, so we had to go and find out what's happening. Let's go. So let's go through here. Not for the Templars quarters. Alright, this way. Cross the bridge, even though it's on fire. Good job, Yangus. Headbutting that door. Wait, what am I? Oh, I can't go upstairs yet. Okay, let's talk to this guy. What happened? Come on, stay with it. Tell me what happened. Thank the goddess. You've come. Help the abbot. Erg. Who on earth did this? He's dangerous. Captain Marcello is in trouble. Err. Upstairs, come on, let's go. You're with me, right? Yes, we are. Thanks. Erg. The jester, you must save the abbot. Gerg. Ouch. Boy, I stare like that. Ugh. I have given my 
myself to the goddess. If it is her wish, I am prepared to die. But, wretched sinner, if that is not her wish, nothing you can do will ever harm me. The goddess will protect us all from whatever evil you can muster. Well, well. The following day, under a heavy cloud of rain, Abbot Francisco's body was committed to the ground. Meanwhile, Dolmega slipped away into the darkness once again. Marcello, who somehow managed to escape injury, explained to everyone the events of the previous night. James and the party were cleared of any suspicion. Everyone at the funeral felt a terrible sorrow at the loss of the abbot, and the heavens too wept tears of grief. The rain continued until dawn, the start of a new day.
All right, looks like we have a new task. Let's talk to people sleeping. Oh, Dennis is awake. Morning, Gov. Looks like Don Vegas gave us a slip again, eh? All them people dead. I can't believe it. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Our cursed Don Vegas. Let's find out what Captain Marcello wants. Hmm? Oh, it's you. The captain's been waiting for you. Hurry up. King's Road. But actually, before we proceed, um, I think. No. Oh, actually, it's not. Okay, never mind. Ah, there you are, James. A little tardy, are you not? Anyway, we are no longer in suspicion. And that's okay, Angelo? Would you go and speak to the captain, please? Oh, okay. You have nothing else to say. And yes, you get the world map at this point. Awesome. Very well then. I trust Angelo to your care and wish you well on your journey. Thanks. It's up to you again, actually. Our princess whose death must be avenged in the name of the goddess who is what's bring down the iron face of justice for, upon that infernal jester. I hope Angelo proved to be an asset on your party. I shall pray for your safe passage. Alright, and with that, I guess we leave? I don't know. I guess we do leave. I can't remember what we do now. <laughs> I think we do leave now, at this point. Yes, we do. Hello again. Well, it looks like we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I hope you don't mind me coming along. I'm not doing this because Marcello ordered me to. I'm doing it for Abbot Francisco. He was like a father to me. That jester, Dulmagus. He can't get away with this. And this place. I'll be glad to escape. 
It's no hardship being asked to join you, believe me. And anyway, I promised you, didn't I? I said I'd reward you for helping me. So, Jessica, from now on, I'll protect you. I won't leave your side. Consider me your... And with that, we have our fourth and final party member, Angelo. He has pretty good attack, pretty good speed, in fact, really good speed, um, okay resilience, pretty good wisdom, in fact, just pretty good overall character. He has swords, bows, staves, and fisticuffs as always, and charisma. I will be concentrating him on swords and staves as well as charisma, for fairly obvious reasons, because, you know, I do like the... The personal skills and uh, I can't believe he doesn't have a helmet. I, I actually don't believe that. I can't even put a turban, can I? No, I can't. Rearranging his equipment here. Let's see what he can equip. I think he can equip the skill shield. Yes, he can. He can equip the skill shield and the skill armor. So let's go get those. Um, he can use zoom as well, so that's good. I'm gonna go to Peregrine Key. Oh, I can't. Okay. Fine. Need to activate a cutscene, probably. And we see our world map for the first time. It's pretty big, isn't it? We have a lot to explore. This world is pretty big. And you can, like, press square and you can zoom in and zoom out. And it's really good. It's really handy. And honestly, I'll be using it quite a lot. Alright. Oops. I picked evac. And I picked evac again. There we go. Now I can zoom. So yeah, Angelo is pretty good actually as an overall character. Um, he's good magically. He's good attacking me. He's good every way. Actually, to be fair. So yeah, I'm back here in, in the Peregrine Key to get armor and equipment for Angelo because he needs it. Can you equip the, uh, 
I'll have to go back to Farbury for that, but I'm willing to do that. Gonna give him a little herb as well. Basically, go places that you couldn't have gone before. That's essentially what you use it for. Or places that you want to go back to and you need to return there for whatever reason. Almost full equipment. I need to get my Steve, which will be expensive to do, but I'm willing to do that. Because, well, kind of like the show of Angelo. Um, he has heal automatically and he has whoosh, which is basically a wind elemental that slices through a group of enemies. Pretty good, actually. Yeah, he's really fast. He can attack. Pretty hard. very fast. So now that I have a full party, um, I am going to talk a little bit about lineup because lineup is actually pretty important. The the number in your lineup uh, determines basically, yeah, the further back the lower chance of being hit. So people like Yangus and the hero will get hit more often than Angelo and Jessica, which is what you kind of want. Um, I might, I'm gonna use heal here. So yeah, Angelo has access to heal as well, so he can become, like, as I said, like a red mage type character. Which I like, I like red mage type characters. Um, so we're actually gonna ignore Simpleton. Tonight. And we're gonna head through here. Where are we?
Yeah, we are actually. <laughs> okay, just kill yourself. So yeah, healing all night really helps because Angelo has heals, so it's really good. Unfortunately, you can't really move the map, but you can... As long as you... Oh! As long as you sort of move along with it, you can... It moves along with you, but... Is there anything else can we put I put in? It's not really. And it's a reinforced boomerang, which is something I need. Alright, let's proceed further on. Down this path. Oh, I'm tempted. Let's do it. Let's show off whoosh. Yeah, better run. <laughs> Had the shoe off wish anyway. Needed to do that. So we just proceed down this path. Look at our map once again. Quite a long way to go, but we'll get there. I just see a sign. Let's check it out. A Scansford Castle that way, so it looks like that's where we have to go. And I'm going to attack you. Token. See, so yeah, I'm just following this path further down. try and fight mostly every battle um, and I know that's kind of like grinding but it isn't uh, and as I said the reason is you know experience oh puppeteers I like these guys these guys are funny oh exciting teal yeah he can raise your tension I don't know why he can do this but he can do it I don't think I mean, he was gonna die anyway, so <laughs> just died a little quicker. Heading further down this path. And another sign. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna attack you, I'm gonna attack you, I'm gonna attack you, and I'm gonna use wizard stuff on you. A token. Saint Hill again, okay. Thanks.
<laughs> nice, Jessica. Heading further on down. And we're here, actually. You see a house in the distance. Let's go to it. More puppeteers. A token. Funny story, oh. Oh. <laughs> And I can't stop laughing, which basically stops your attack for the next turn, or however it is, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, probably there's a really random effect, technically. But um, yeah, really interesting, actually. This house actually, because we need to go in it. Wow. Oh, let's attack you, let's attack you, let's use that and use that. Second tail, wow, okay, just raise my attention, thanks. Okay. Ow. How about Jessica levels up? HP up 3, MP up 8. Strength 4, agility 6, wisdom 3, resilience 1. Wow. Iron bag, bag is really good. 6 skill points. Oh, and oh, MP up 20 when, when, when using a staff. This is why you want to have her use thieves. Because she gets more MP, more MP equals more staff, or more spells. Hey, anyway, we're around here. We get mini metal. And a silk robe. Let's talk to you. My granddaughter Emma works as a maid at the castle. She's a lovely, hard-working girl. She's not been able to take her holiday for the past few years now. I do miss her visits. Hmm? Way to the castle. Just follow the path east and you'll come to it eventually. Thanks. We don't really go to the castle just yet. Because while we're here, we're at a church, you know, we can rest, we can we can do stuff here, so let's do stuff here. Yeah, the church is actually across the bridge. And actually while we're here, there is something that we can do. Oh, more puppeteers. Oh, and they make the first strike. Okay, what are you gonna do? You're gonna punch me with slime, okay. And the weird dance, which reduces your MP. One. Wow. And okay, attacking Jessica. You do that. And attack you, and attack you, and use wizard staff on you. I do him. I will never stop saying that <laughs> every time we use that spell. Oh, at least Jessica attacked. Frizz. Okay. Ow, seven. And fizzle, okay. Ow, 87 points of damage. Okay, that was really unnecessary. Yangus. I keep forgetting that you steal sickle. That's what I'm doing wrong. I'm, using, I'm not using steel sickle. I keep forgetting about it. Oh, I got to hit plain clothes from a drop. Okay. 
That's a nice reminder of, hey, steal items. Do you steal, steal sickle? Hey, Kai, what's up to you? Yes, every time you talk to Kai, once and once only, you get a bottle of fresh milk. For free. You better gonna have that. Anyway, let's go in. Before I go and accept that, we get Seed of Magic in here. Really good. Now let's accept our kind offer. Yes. The story is a rather basic, but I trust you with you as well. I will. Things will never be right between us. He, Marcello, will never forgive me. If only we didn't share common blood, I'm sure we'd get along fine. Francisco was always well known around these parts for his benevolence. He'd often take in children who had nowhere else to go. And I was one of them. My parents were well off, part of the aristocracy. But then they both died. All of a sudden, I was left with no family and no money. The Abbey was the only place I could go.
aren't you? Are you here to join the brothers? Have you come all on your own? Oh, you must be exhausted. Where are your things? Is that all you've got? so young and innocent then, too. The whole thing hurt more than you can imagine. Still, say la vie. My father got off lightly. He did just what he wanted and then died, and left me to take the consequences. I'm the only one left for Marcello to hate now. In a way, I can't say I blame him, and it was probably good that we lived together. At least it gave him someone to take it all out on. Certainly added a bit of spice to the humdrum life of my other Abbey, anyway. Angelo, I'm so... <laughs> this story's gone on long enough. Look, it's nearly daybreak. Wait!
All right, so we got a little bit of backstory to Angela's past, and uh, we're actually going to end this episode right here. Uh, I'll put a little bit of grinding off screen, but uh, next time on Dragon Quest Journey of the Cursed King, we'll actually explore a little bit of this era that we're in and uh, proceed further from there, see what else lies in wait for us. So, with all that being said, folks. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give this episode a little like and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of my community where we spread fun and positivity. See you again.